everybody, this is Chelsea Linden. Person again, you know me as a pedophile. A dumb pedophile who thinks that I'm... That I started dating my boyfriend Addison and I groomed him into dating me when he was 11. This is, this is a message for all of you from Reddit. Including you, CSS Tales Forever. From YouTube and Reddit. And also Twitter. You really are just, you are all sick who thinking that I actually groomed Addison when he was 11 years old? No! You got that wrong! I did not, we did not start dating at each other. I, I was not 22. I was not 22 at, well, I was 23. He was 22, or 21, I think. Here's a pop quiz for you all if you guys are good at math. Here's your math quiz for all of you. Addison was born in the year 1992. I was born in the, on, this, on June 15th, 1992 for Addison. I was born in December 15th, 1990. We started dating on April 29th in 2013. Tell me, how old were we then? And this year is the year 2024. How old were we both back then in the year 2013 and how old and how old is he now and how many years have how long have we been dating for now? You do the rest of the math. You do the rest of your math. I am I did not groom him. I am not a groomer like that. That's disgusting. Anybody who does that to an 11 year old or any child, you think about it. You think about it. On Re the person who broke that on Reddit about me, OA girl? Yeah. OA dislikers? Yeah. You guys go ahead and be OA dislikers all you want. But I'm never going to stop saying OA. And I am not going to stop being myself. I am not. I also support the LGBT community. Think of it this way, people. If you want me to stop saying OA, then how would you like it if someone came up to you and saw you with your girlfriend or boyfriend and say that you said, ugh, stop being lesbian or stop being bisexual or transgender, etc. Hmm? Think about that. How do you feel if someone said about that or if someone in your family said that? Hmm? I'm not using that as leverage. Would you like it if someone said that about you? Because I know for a fact that I would not like it if anybody said that about my Aunt Holly and her wife, Andrea, and including their son, Eli. Hmm? Yeah, their moms, their parents. You should be happy. And support them. And also, yes, yes, I did mistake, yeah, angrily and ragefully say to a person that, um, when the person said what away meant on YouTube, yes, I did angrily and ragefully did say that, you know, I did say that I wished for her children, their twins, to be sexually assaulted. Yes, I did. But that was out of a mistake and rage and anger, all because of what she said when it was, the OA was or she was preventing someone from watching the OA, but that happened years ago. Many years ago. Whoever you are on Reddit posted that about me. Yeah, I said it, but I feel guilty about it. But I do not. But yeah, I also say that I wish for your mothers to be raped. Only because I never had a close one with mine. And I, yeah, just because I never had a close relationship with my mother doesn't mean I can take it out on you. I know what you're saying. But yeah. I actually blame them for giving birth to jerks like you. And also, that photo about me that you that you looked up about me about my crime, my past crime, yeah, that wasn't a family member. You idiots. All of you Reddit idiots. Yeah. All of you stop. You need to stop believing what you read on the internet. On Reddit. You guys are so disgusting to even think that I'm a groomer like that. I'm not. I am not like that. I would never want to groom an innocent child. I would not want to hurt an innocent child. 
They do not deserve to be assaulted. No, not even a teenager. In fact, I even still feel even more sorry for Frankie for what her brother JJ Devereaux did to her. Yeah, I know some of you who are Days of Our Lives fans and Hollyoaks fans get confused. Yeah, trust me, I get that. But believe me, I really don't like what JJ did to her. Yeah, it happened to me too when I was only six. I'm a victim. I'm a survivor. But for any of you who are also like that, well, now I just hope you've gotten help. Or if not, then... Or if you hadn't come out, then who knows? Who knows what might happen to you? Yes, I also did tag those people who are always dislikers and stop and told me to stop saying OA, but no. Yes, I did say those threat things that you think are threats, but to me, they're just warnings. They're not threats to me. They're warnings. And yeah, my boyfriend is definitely not, well, I would say he is somewhat like Warren Fox, but he's never killed anybody. But just so you know, when I always complain to him about you guys, he did say, yes, he did say that he's wanting to kill you all. That's why I even posted about wanting, about warning you about that post that I, with that video of, from Sensei about shooting someone in the face multiple times. Mm. Yeah. I did feel like that, but only, again, not literally doing so. Yeah, I, did, I didn't threaten you all. I only did that just to scare you. Yeah, Joshua Dillon, yes, I did only do that just to scare you. Donald Trump it? Supporter, yeah, I also did that as well to support, to you know, to scare you. Anybody who hurts me and I say things I don't literally mean, again, you make me angry, you make me go off like a bomb like a time bomb and i just <sighs> say things i don't i don't literally mean yeah you can be annoyed all you want be annoyed all you want but i'm never gonna stop you want me to stop you're gonna have to kill me you'll have to kill me do you have the guts do you have the guts or do you want me dead and you css tales forever yeah, I told you I'd mention you in this video, but I wouldn't tag you, but you'll see. Surely, of course, you'll be sorry, too, if you ever... Yeah, surely, of course, you were my friend, but I'm not threatening you. You were my friend, but what happened? What did I do to you? What did I say to you that was so wrong? That made you say, not, don't talk to me anymore in the Holly Oaks comments or your channel? Why? You really utterly believe a fake over, especially something that's on Facebook about me? My past? That was not a family member, that was my roommate! Her name was Victoria. Even a friend of mine who lives there, still lives there, knows about her. She doesn't live there anymore, I could say though, but she assaulted me. Just know this, I was defending myself against her when she came on to me. <sighs> Know this, people. Know this. All of this. <sighs> know this, all of you who are believers of Reddit and other networks. Know this. Self-defense is not assault and self-defense is also not murder or blackmail. Self-defense is just defense. I was defending myself. Have you ever been assaulted? Have you ever tried to hurt to defend yourself against someone? If so, who knows? And you, you kitty something on Reddit, whoever you are, who may, tell me. Reason why you probably say this about me, a lie about me grooming my boyfriend Addison when he was 11? Grooming him, me grooming him when I was like 22 when he was 11? Tell me. I bet you probably say this because someone groomed you or someone you know who was 11 at the age of 22 and somebody groomed you as well when you were at that age at 11. Tell me, did it happen to you or did it happen to a family member or one of your sisters, your cousins when they were 11 or any of your friends? Yeah, you don't have to explain. You're probably like this because you're jealous, you're a bully, not me. I am not a bully. I don't want trouble. 
but you guys don't need to be so annoyed over me. Just don't block me either. Don't block me because I'm saying something irrelevant on Twitter or a, to two soap operas, Days of Our Lives and Holly Oaks. You don't like it? Then just do your best to ignore me and act like I'm not even there. Don't mute me. And just because we have a disagreement doesn't mean you also have to block me. I mean it. You guys all need to grow up. And also, Days Fan 28, I'm sorry that you are trying to get reported. I heard, Sam. I'm sorry about that. But trust me, Sam. I am your. I don't want you to be reported or leave. I saw the report. I saw the tweet about it. You are amazing. I really did like your tweets, and you're on this day, days of our lives. You really were incredible. You didn't have to block me, and neither did you, Days Confused. Jeez. Just because you're annoyed with me being myself doesn't mean you have to block me for it, or mute me, and have disagreements. You are such freaks, all of you. Stop being such freaks, stop being such bullies, and stop being so annoyed with me being myself. I don't want trouble. I do not want trouble. Just stop also saying what away means and stop preventing others from watching it and butting in like that. It's not your concern. Just because you don't like the OA, you tried to get used to it. But hey, for those of you who don't like it and tried to get used to it, doesn't mean you have to say what it means and don't, and don't be so afraid of me. I'm a victim as well. I was a victim. And I still am. You are all just jealous bullies. All of you on Reddit as well. I'm not calling CSS Tales Forever a bully, but if she wants to believe that's something that's fake over the internet, then fine. But she doesn't have to be afraid of me. I've never said anything hurtful or wrong about her, to her or anything. She was my friend. He or she was my friend. You need to get over yourself, please. Whatever your real name is, too. <sighs> please, unblock me on Twitter and just allow me back into your comments. On Holly Oak's comments as well. Also, I am sorry for what my boyfriend said to you as well. Trust me. You really just don't want to get on his bad side sometimes. It's a warning. A morning. It's mornings. He does. He goes into protective mode a lot. For those of you who believe, and just know this: if any of you who do read what you read about me on Reddit, OA, I'm not the OA. Stop calling me OA girl. I'm not the OA. Stop. I am not the OA. I'm not like Brit Marling or Zalbak Mongleage. Stop it. Just stop it. Alright? All of you. All of you get a grip. Just know, if anyone asks me if it's true or not for what you read on Reddit about me, Holly Oaks, you're gonna get blocked. You will get blocked. Because how could you even ask such something so crazy? So dumb? Yeah, there are people out there like that, but I'm not one of them. Do your math. Do your math right. When we first met, it was legal. He was not 11. You do your math. How old was he when he was born in 1992? How old was he in the year 2013? Like I said, how old was I when I was born in, when I was born in 1990 and 2013? Think about that. Do your math and do it right people. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. This is Chelsea Nicole Linden, signing off.